camera's playing. Today, I'm going to be doing a special building round. Thought with all the um fighting stuff going on, I might as well be doing something calm. So the first thing that we're going to show you is the roller coaster that is going to showcase the world. It probably wouldn't pass safety inspection, but that's okay. This is Minecraft, not real life, and yeah, that's probably why it wouldn't pass safety inspections. So this room, oh, I'll just have to show you that later. My proper tour. Hey, through there. So we just went through a giant gravestone and we, we went zipping through the graveyard and... Yes, and we, we fall into the next episode's area. I just would like to point out that the gravestone is quite interesting. So the first floor isn't anything too special. It's just got a bunch of skulls. The second floor I really like because watch carefully. Watch the lights and they flicker off. There's some bunny rabbits upstairs which cause that to happen. So like if they're not on the purpose of it. So, um, looking around the edge, this is all like a, a massive big ball thing almost, like, it's hard to describe, it's like a giant, like it's sort of just a, the wall of the graveyard, yes, that's the word. Um, wizard cemetery only them I could think of. So, um, the area has, like, some, um, iron bars everywhere, so it gives a creepy look. The gate has um, some red stained glass, and the wall is also, like, comprised of randomly put, like, mossy cobblestone. Now, let's go Not cobblestone. The well, so I'm it is bricks. partially inspired by Little Hangleton graveyard from Harry Potter, which is the place where um kill the spare. Oh wait, I don't have a weapon. Oh, I'll just get this. Kill the spare. We've all got over a, a yeah. Let's just pretend that embarrassing thing. <laughs> so the cauldron is just black stone stairs with a cauldron in the middle with um I think it was strength potion or well, it was either strength or harming Bone so then we have the, the angel of death statue it's got eyes buttons um just down in the middle and a mouth so looks quite good it has some really nice wide wings which i love like i just love these wings that just over the graveyard gives it such an ominous appearance like from outside the graveyard it just stares at you like look so scary I have put some vines on it which grow all the way down because this is an abandoned graveyard so next part which may cause a bit of um yeah bit of yeah it's not the nicest thing ever so it's a it's symmetry it basically has the names of hits oh wait oh, i forgot to put on my selling block there sorry i'm just going to really place this wait no, what am i doing what have i done oh sorry <laughs> So, um, I've just randomly put the names of my friend's pets on here. So, we can have Lion, which is Fears, one of the Fears, and that's all I have to show sisters. The False King of the Jungle, Tiger, which is actually, if I can, the True King of the Jungle, Hedwig, the Living, now Dead, Snowball. Um, yeah, uh, that's one of the ones that isn't a real pimp. 
Goldie. Uh, I think that was the name of my goldfish that went on holidays. Yeah, I think I can guess where I went now. I thought the cat ate it the entire time. The guinea, loyal snake. Smokey died of inhaling too much smoke. That's my friend Isaac's ferret. I was about to say snake, just because I went on that badly. Bandit, shot by the police because it's a bandit. Okay, that's probably a bit weird. Gizmo, which is his other ferret. He has three ferrets. This one technically might not be his. Like, he just found it on the road. Crushed between the clock's ears. That's sad. Named after Scabbers the grandmother's Had not known he was sleeping with a 38-year-old man. Yep. W.D. Garza. Never existed. Uh, 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 uh. I am real. It was one, two, nine, two, seven, three, seven, three, seven has occurred. Okay, that's just a little nod to Undertale. Now, I'll cure the blindness. That was just a red signs. I mean, cure the blindness. So now we have this nice little pond. Oh, one thing. So we have half slides here. Just and um, yeah, I think you can tell. The fancy is here are broken just, just because, to give it a more abandoned look. Here's a statue person in a pond. It's creepy. It's creepy and has one eye. Its feet are made of yeah, stairs and legs out of um, what do you call those? Something. Body made of stone, head made of stone, arms made of walls. Now we have. Oh, what should I cover next? I've already covered the Angel of Death, but I just want to have another look. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is one, it's on a hill. Two, it has a sign which, if you look at it, it says Thomas Real Senior, who is the person who's there in the films. Um, there's this pathway leading up to it, it's made of gravel and. Um, gravel, stone, and what is this other block? Andesite. We, I've also put some dead coral on it to make it look more rocky, which is a really nice effect. I learnt that from my favourite YouTuber, Graham. Well, one of them, at least. So, let's go to the obvious thing that shouldn't be at a graveyard. This top. Totally in your monstrous slide that will definitely not eat you alive. It's definitely not going to do that because it is a nice, friendly slide. Not. Okay, don't go on this slide, it's evil. But there's like um, a knots and crosses that you get in the playground. Iron bath is definitely one. There's no way that um, iron sword will win. So it's got iron poles, vines on it. Um, it's made of the fence and um, there are its eyes. This is its mouth. Don't go in its mouth or it will swallow you whole. Yeah, it's quite self-explanatory. I'm not really happiest with that, but it's still good. Oh, and the platform is made of iron blocks. They will eat you alive still. Okay, I need to put night vision on again. Um, this grave is for Cedric Diggory. Um, yeah, yeah, Harry Potter character. There is nothing in... Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. I think if you look... Yes, this was the block. If you look in here, you'll find a coffin with um, a skull in it. How am I going to replace that? I'm just going to put mycelium to add a bit of variety. Like it's crawling up. The reason I used mycelium is because it looks like all the grass has died and yeah, it just looks depressing. Good for this build. 
So the gravestone is made of three. So it's made of stone bricks, and then there's this this um grave part, which there's nothing in there. I don't think. Yeah, there was nothing in there. And it's a nice gravestone. Kill the spare. Um, I can't do magic in Minecraft. Um, actually, yes, I can. Um, what would be the most useful thing? Um, who will be the spare? We'll just have a villager. Or a llama. No, a cow. A cow will be the spare. Kill the spare. There. I killed the spare. Okay, I'm sorry, Cedric. Cowery. Next guy we're going to take a look at is, um, the grave of Percy Weasley. Definitely not Fred. Fred did not die. Died laughing. Yep, I'm just considering that canon because I've replaced Fred's death with, um, George's death. No, not George. That would be bad as well. So, yeah. So it has, um, this pillar in the middle with signs on each side. Which makes it look nice, in my opinion. Then, yep, it goes up, 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 and then it goes out into that, and then we put that in the middle. It looks nice. And it was definitely Percy who died. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling so many things in Harry Potter. It's not funny, but, like, yeah, I just put it on. So, um, yeah, it looks nice. Not much to talk about other than the fact that it's covered in vines like everything else here. Okay, now we have a grave. This is Nymphadora Tonks' grave. So it's similar to that one, but instead of that sh circular shape, it goes up into that block. And it has these parts on it. The cross graveyard. Rubus Lupin started protecting Harry or whatever he died doing, I forgot, during this build. Hey, doesn't it looks like they're the same block. That would be a cool modern texture block for a block. Okay, random things aside. Yeah, it's the same graveyard. Grave, they have the exact same things. This is going to be a shorter video. That's okay. Because I enjoy making it. Um, I'm not sure how that explosion got there. I turned mob spawning off so there's no creepers. Now for the creepy crawly crypt. Why creepy crawly? No, it's just creepy crypt. I'll just have to get the blocks to replace when, um, yeah. I never would barge in. Because I'm going to barge in. My skin changes every five seconds, doesn't it? Soon I'll find a consistent skin, I swear. Now, where are the vines? Shh, I guess you're not part of this video. Sorry, he's come. I didn't really want him to be in the video. So, it's on a hill made of mycelium. The crypt. I'm just gonna really stop. So, uh, it's got wall, so it alternates between wall, block, wall, block, wall, block. And all the wall part we have just something that allows you to look into the grave. Yep, definitely not creepy at all. The roof is just a normal roof. I like this building. It's probably my favourite part here. Being honest, definitely looks like it's real. Okay, let's go now to the tomb of a thousand souls. The floor is made of bones. There are lumps of non-dissolving flesh and ash of the fallen. And skulls, through oh, the skulls, and walls of bricks, which are just on the lines of the hill. Not much to see in here. 
but like I like it. It's a really secure creepy. Like if you woke up here, like you would be mortified. Like here's what it looks like when it's dark. Okay, let's um replace the thing. Like so it looks like we never barge in here. Shh. If we didn't barge in. Nobody has got Oh, I must come for something. Um, I am going to be making a thing where I just whoever comments on the video, some of the people will be included, have their own special room in the wall. Well, so, yeah, exciting for you. Uh, the video is nearly over in three, two, one.